on today's video, we're going to be talking about how to keep your cats as happy as possible while traveling or living in your RV. Hey adventurers, welcome back. I'm Jackie Latran. And I'm Joseph Wolfgram. And we are RV Adventures with Pets. On our channel, we talk about what it's like to live, work, and play full-time in an RV with four cats and a dog. On today's episode, we're going to share with you tips and techniques that we've learned to keep our cats happy while we're traveling on the road. And today with us, we have Captain Orange. He is the captain of Bernice. He is supposed to be here to supervise, but he's not that interested. Yeah, he does his own thing. One of the things about living in an RV is that there are a lot of little spaces, unused and hidden space, nooks and crannies that can be transformed into cat hidey holes, um, litter box spaces, <laughs> and um, recreational places for your cats. And today we're going to talk about something you may not have thought of before, and that's the windshield and dash of your RV as a cat playground. <laughs> And that's exactly what we did. We transformed the dash into the cat lounge area filled with beds and hidey holes and multi-level climbing places. And the boys love it. So come along with us and we'll show you what we've got. And if you're wondering what that noise was, that was Captain using the bathroom. <laughs> He's not interested in the recording. He's like, I poop on you. <laughs> this is a typical dash of a Class A motorhome. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of real estate here, but it goes largely unused. We're going to show you how to transform this space into a cat lounge. So a lot of RVers will use the space right here for their cat beds. And that's a fantastic place. Look at this real estate. Look at all the views that the cats have. We use this spot for cat beds too. But we have a couple extra things because to keep a cat happy you want to make sure that they have their own places to lay in if they want to places for them to sleep to cuddle to lounge around and also places that they can play in and um, keep that intellectual stimulation going we use these three cat beds for the dash of our rv and they just kind of set up here just like this now these are great because they're really super double cushiony but as an extra bonus, they can pop up and become little cat caves. In addition to these three beds, we have this cat lounger that is held in place by these suction cups. What we discover is that if you want these to stay in place, you want to make sure you clean the glass and the suction cup before putting it up. Okay, so to attach this, you just put the suction cup onto here and you want to place it against the glass wherever you want the bottom to be and we keep it right here for the boys. And then after that, you want to bring the suction cup up. You want to make sure it's kind of nice and tight, but not so tight that it pulls the whole uh, lounger up like this. And what we discovered too is they stay in place much better if they're not in a, um, what's that, concave? <laughs> not in like a concave part of the glass. So as best as you can, finding a flat area is great. And there you have it. So now they have the beds and a lounger that they can be on. So in addition to that lounger, we have this really cool um, double deck enclosed lounger. And if you can see here, there are holes for them to go in and out in the front and on the side. And this back here, unfortunately, they cannot really use because the um, suction cups are right here on the back. So that actually goes against the glass. And as with the other lounger, they all attach with suction cups. And remember to clean the suction cup and the glass before attaching the lounger to make sure it stays up. So I get to put all of these things up because uh, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of space by the steering wheel. So I get to squeeze in and put this up. And like the other lounger, you want to start by sticking the bottom one onto the glass wherever you want it to be. And we've done this a few times. So I sort of have an idea of where I want it to go. And it goes right here and I press it against the glass. 
raise this up and same thing press it against the glass and we don't have the best space for this because you know there's, there's a lot of curvy up here and if you were to put it up here there's a lot of slack which is useless so we've decided to actually pull it over here not the best way to put it up but it works still and we kind of do the same thing with this one well let me see wherever you can put the suction cup that creates a little tension will be awesome and lastly we have another double decker lounger for the boys that goes onto this side of the window so you might have noticed these two suction cups on the glass these one we leave them on permanently just to make it easier for us um, this particular lounger just have a slightly different system it has the four suction cup like the other ones, which, oh, I forgot to clean it. So I'm just gonna clean it real quick because if I don't clean it now, I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time attaching and reattaching this because the boys are pretty rough on this. <laughs> so like the other lounger, we use the four suction cups and we put these two down here, put these two up here. But in addition to that, they have these ones that are held in place by these different suction cup. And this one, you actually unscrew. And you put this in and then you screw it back on and holds it into place really nicely. We're gonna do the same thing over here, unscrewing this. Putting this on screwing it into place and there you have it we've transformed the dash into a cat lounge you've got their Heidi caves you've got cat beds you've got single layer cat loungers you've got double decker cat condos with side doors and porches and a double decker cat playground with a hole on the top one other very important piece of equipment we've stumbled upon we'll share with you now is this laptop working station. It's just a simple piece of metal like this with some cooling fans in it and these really adjustable arms. So you can position it for a standing desk or for working on your laptop while laying down or whatever. But what we found it most valuable for is protecting the horn button of the coach because our cats Mac in particular, likes to sit right on the horn button and if the air horns are turned on, it's super loud, especially at 2 a.m. when he decides to sit there. So this little thing with the feet bent like this slides right over the steering wheel, creates a platform and protects the horn button really well. And it also doubles as a really nice workstation for getting some things done, and enjoying the boys nearby. Come here, cow cow. And those noises you hear, that's not Joseph's butt. Well, it sort of is his butt. <laughs> Pretty cushy. We have very cushy chairs. And Frosty, of course, has to ch try to check it out and see what's going on. And here is Baby surveying the newly laid out floor plan just for him. Oh, I think he's made a selection. So here's a little montage of the boys enjoying their cat lounge. Hope you enjoy it.
we talked about the cat enjoying their privacy, another way to give them privacy and to give us privacy, of course, is to use the curtains, the privacy curtains. And we can leave the whole dash up exactly like that and still have our privacy curtains. You just gotta be really careful when we pull this. And this is what we do for a nighttime, of course, or when it gets too hot outside. And sometimes we just close it up for a change of pace for the boys. Another thing we've done to keep all the cats happy and satisfied in the RV is built this three-story cat cafe. And if you want to learn more about this, check out our video in the link down below. And lastly, this is my favorite addition for the cats. It is the catio. They access the catio by climbing onto the chair or this table and they pop in and out. And there's somebody out there. Who's out there? Looks like it's Mac. Hi, McAllister. Enjoy the catio. And if you're curious about the catio and want to learn more, check out the link below in the description. We have a full how-to video on the catio. And when it's time to move, of course, we take everything down. And it's just so simple to unscrew those couple suction cups and pull the rest of it off, collapse them, and store them away. And there you have it. These are a few ways that we transform the spaces in our RV to keep the cats happy. The cat catio, the cat lounge, and the cat cafe. We didn't talk about other things to keep cats happy, such as the essentials like the food and the litter and water and of course lots of love. And for our boys specifically, also outdoor times, uh, walking on the leash. But you know, we wanted to showcase the transformation of the coach into a moving cat house. We hope you enjoy what we share with you today and that you are inspired to create your own little cat palace for your own fur babies. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, you can do that by hitting the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you'll be notified whenever we have a new episode online. And if there's something you want to see or want to learn more about, please let us know in the comment section and we'll be sure to address it in a future episode. Until next time, adventurers, we wish you tons and tons of happiness and lots of wonderful moments with your own fur babies. Hi, this is the. I'm gonna start with hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> and lastly, we have another. Uh,